Well, I think there are a number of reasons. One, the advances are happening extremely fast, and when they're happening so fast, it's very hard for people to keep up to date. That's one thing. And the other thing is sharing experiences with people. We've learnt that, particularly in fields like cochlear implant, there's a lot of people doing similar things, but with slightly different ways. And just being able to hear from someone that they've come across the same problem as you've come across and they've solved it by doing this is an extremely important thing because those things can't really be done over the internet. We can't find that out from the world literature. But also there are things that are happening that are really, really quite exciting. The, the, one of the lectures I've been giving to Day was discussing the intricacies of inner, inner ear medicine and surgery and this is a new frontier that we're dealing with where we're actually be able to put things into the inner ear to protect people's hearing and protect people's balance problem but from getting balance problems as years go by so we're putting in nutrients and things things of that nature into them we're treating diseases by managing to get chemicals in high concentration in the right part where the disease is and those things are things that are very much on the beginning of, uh, uh, of uh, where we're going and they, they, well, they're happening now, they're beginning to happen, the research is coming through that's showing which things we should be doing, which things are safe to do and which things give most benefits to what are very common problems, balance problems, vertigo and hearing loss are probably the most common problems that we're going to be facing as we get older. It's been very good this year. The, uh, the, uh, the, the weather's been better, which has been very nice. It's, last year it was far too hot to actually get outside, and, uh, so the, the organisation's been excellent.